Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to more football. This is the top 10 football players of all time, or as the title says, top 10 greatest footballers of all time. This is in response to one of my previous videos that I made. Um, people were just talking about some of their favorite players, plays, games, all that. And I've heard of many of these, pro to, just to be honest, probably not all of them, but I've heard of the majority of, of these, especially now that I've been watching more uh, football and videos, highlights, and want to get more of an understanding of who the players are, who do they play with, and kind of if there's a dominant country, I guess, that, you know, two or three of these, you know, top 10 greatest typically have come from. And I would like to hear your take on this video and if you'd kind of place truly, uh, truly place one of the players further back or further front or first, you know, I want to hear that and why it is. But for now, let's, uh, let's jump into this. Let's see if you agree or disagree with this list and we'll go from there. Let's have some fun. All right, here's our 10 greatest footballers of all time and a quick story or two, or seven on each. Let's go. All right. Less than 30 seconds in and we're already off the rails. Have to mention who just came up short of cracking our top 10. So, number 11, Michel Platini. The three-time Ballon d'Or winner is regarded as one of football's finest passers. But in okay. 2006, as the UEFA president, he could not pass on one sweet $2 million bribe from FIFA's Seth Blatter. This leaves Platini Yikes. saying goodbye, football, just as we say hello to number 10, Ronald E. Well, this is, a, uh, this is definitely a start, some, some <laughs> politics and craziness and briberies, all that stuff. This is going to be fun. Inyo. The Brazilian two-time FIFA Player of the Year who has won seemingly everything the sport has to win. Ballon d'Or, World Cup, Copa America, Champions League, Confederations Cup, Copa Libertadores. No other player has won all six of these trophies. Dino's beautiful wow. smile, which yes, might be more gum than tooth, but when you see it, you cannot help but smile right back. The search for love. He could have had an even greater career if he was more serious. But he won the most important prize of them all. He's won Game Lover's Hearts. Number nine. I'm kind of surprised seeing him in that. That's one of the players that I saw a lot in the comments. And he is actually a very fun player. I looked on YouTube after and he's a very fun and kind of energetic and kind of kind of goofing around with the ball. It seems like sometimes when he's so extremely talented that he makes it look so easy and flawless. He kind of like runs loops around players. He was super fun to just watch, you know, highlight videos of. With perhaps the exception of Maldini, no defender has left his mark on the game like Franz Beckenbauer. Leading West Germany to victory at the 72 Euros and 79 World Cup. Marching Bayern to three Euro Cups and four Bundesliga titles. And the final feather in the cap of his illustrious career, piloting the New York Cosmos to three soccer bowls. Yes, in the 70s, there's a champion's final called the Soccer Bowl. The Soccer God Bowl. God bless you, American soccer. Always dependable for a good laugh. One of Beckenbauer's most harrowing moments, however, is no laughing matter when he takes a nasty fall in the 1970 World Cup, breaking his collarbone and dislocating his shoulder. With all subtitles used, the man dubbed Emperor for his commanding demeanor and brutal toughness lives up to the nickname by playing the remainder of the game in an arm sling. That's like, That's as the kids today crazy. would say, cray cray. Number eight. That reminds me of some stuff from the rugby videos that I watch. I, I hear stories all the time. You break your nose, your, your arms destroyed, whatever. You get annihilated in rugby and they're like, you know, they shrug it off and they just <laughs> go ahead first back in the game. Um, that that really reminds me of of that. Like that's I love that. I I really love that because he loves you know it's the World Cup. He loves what he does. He loves the players. He loves the fans, and he just wants to you know how how can you not you know? It, I I mean I think most people would want to just get back in there. Ronaldo, not that Ronaldo, please. The original Ronaldo, the smiling assassin. What is it with wow. these Brazilians and the smiling? 
I guess 70 degree weather in the dead of winter and beautiful women everywhere will do that to you. Ronaldo is the youngest to ever win a FIFA World Player of the Year at just 20 years old. Wow. And goes on wow. to scoop up the prize twice more after that. Right on. The Phenomeno claims the Ballon d'Or twice and in 2006 becomes the World Cup's greatest scorer, blasting a total of 15 missiles into the back of the net. A record since surpassed. Thanks a lot, Miroslav Klosa. Yet that doesn't change a thing when it comes to Ronaldo's incredibly lasting legacy. Number seven, Alfredo Di Stefano hosts up five consecutive European Cups with Real Madrid in the 1950s. But even more impressive, according to FamousBirthdays.com, Di Steph is the fifth most popular Alfredo in the world, somehow finishing just behind Bertoli's Alfredo sauce, which admittedly is delicious. Our okay. man, the Blonde Arrow, is only the 24th most popular Argentinian-born footballer all time? This is madness! Not as mad as Harry Kane wanting to play NFL football, but still ridiculous since Di Stefano was the first total football player, playing every position with the exception of goalie. Increíble! Number 6, wow. Zinedine Zidane. Yeah. How often do players switch around their position? Because I feel like I know, like, all the sports here in America, it seems like you get in a position that's pretty much what you master. You'll you'll master that trait. You're definitely not a master of all traits like like that individual uh, whatsoever. It's just like this is this is what you do, and you're just sticking here. And you if you don't make it, you're you're kind of gone. Whereas this, I wonder, do people in football still is it is it common to see people move around pretty often with positions you know, throughout a season? Let me know. Yes, ends his career horrifically, but let's hop past it. Zidane is the frontman of a rocking French supergroup of diverse players who score World Cup gold in 98. Exceptional vision and agility. With tremendous ball control, coupled with an equally tremendous iconic bald spot, Zidane quickly becomes a household name. But with his temper, a name you'd still be hesitant to invite uh. into your household. He was never a prolific scorer. Then again, you ever try kicking in a pair of ladies' skinny jeans like these? It's not easy. Number five, Johan Cruyff. The Feyenoord firecracker joins A. I'll be honest, this is the first one. Uh, I don't know if I should be proud or disappointed. This is the first one, though, that I don't recognize the name. I'm sorry. It looks looks fairly old as well. I, I do not recognize the name. Accent so I'm excited. 10, as a baseball player not starting football until 15. Cruyff and Ajax cruise to three consecutive European Cups, but his true genius is first revealed at the 74 World Cup, where the famed Cruyff turn is born. An evasive oh. maneuver where the back leg drags the ball behind the front leg before spinning in the opposite direction, leaving your opponent laid out on the pitch <laughs> looking like a complete clown. Yep. Few have emulated this highly technical move as cleanly, but it's still used today by players like United's Ashley Young, whose greatest claim to fame involves a bird and his mouth. Look it up. Cruyff later takes his talents to Barcelona, carrying the Barca faithful to their first league title in 14 years. Beginning an incredible journey with the club, first as a star player, later as a legendary coach who introduces a revolutionary new concept of football called controlled chaos, transforming Barcelona into perhaps the greatest dynasty the sport has seen. Okay, time to dive into controlled chaos. Is that something pretty common? Just a strategy or style of gameplay in football? Controlled chaos. I mean, I could, I could kind of imagine things, but I don't know if it's correct. To our final four. Number four, Diego Maradona. Maradona. Oh. Winner of multiple domestic cups in Argentina, Spain, and Italy. World Cup gold, along with a UEFA Cup in Napoli. His record high transfer fee to Napoli sets the Argentine. And look at that hair. I mean, like, how can you not like? How can you not like the guy? 6.9 million euro, shattering the previous transfer mark. And just us? Or does the Napoli logo look a lot like the old Netscape web browser logo? Just us? Okay, great. I don't know Maradona is most remembered for his hand of God play during the 86 World Cup, where it appears his hand volleys the ball up and into the net for the score. Even through replay, fans are unsure if Maradona's hand helps to guide the ball in. 
But all doubt quickly disintegrates after Diego famously tells reporters, After the goal, I waited for my teammates to embrace me, and no one came. I told them, come hug me or the referee isn't going to allow the goal. Huh. With this, Diego Maradona becomes, in the very same moment, the most famous and infamous player in all I of bet. football. Number th I bet you the, the other opponent's team would hate him. Would so would be so irate. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. It, it, has that been solved yet? I mean, I know there weren't, you know, people weren't zooming in with cameras left and right as they are today, but has that hand of God play goal been kind of figured out yet? Or is it still kind of up to, up to words? Three, Cristiano like Ronaldo. Yep, I know I am. <laughs> Career highlights include... Obnoxious goal celebrations, throwing a reporter's microphone into a lake, destroying more cars than a monster truck rally, dating Paris Hilton, man spreading so hard he looks like a toddler with a full diaper, and breaking a world record for most underpants shots ever posted to Instagram by a single user. We mentioned these less glamorous CR7 highlights to best validate just how dominant he is. His ability to silence and overcome his self-inflicted shortcomings elevate his legacy. LeBron, Messi, Federer are the most admirable of athletes, but still rank, according to Business Insider, behind the overall number one most popular and marketable athlete on the planet. Yeah, I believe that. You know, I love multiple sports. I, I mean, uh, basketball here. Yeah, I know who LeBron is, but he's also, you know, once again, half loved by people and half despised by people um federer i feel like the tennis player i love tennis is generally generally liked you know most people but ronaldo he's still like the the king in this field it's it's him and uh, messi i feel like are very 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 loved and popular throughout the world and kind of respected or maybe hate it i don't know some people some i'm sure some people really don't like him but um the stuff that i've seen of pretty much all these players that i've looked at really really uh good cristiano ronaldo at just 34, all the good, the five Ballon d'Ors, all the league championships will hopefully continue to outweigh the bad when considering the masterful career and legend of CR7. Number two, Lionel Messi, the Beethoven of wow. Barcelona. By now you all know his stats and his accolades, so let's scrape. I honestly thought he would be first, but maybe people are uh, shaking their heads at me right now like, oh, come on, come on, man, no. The bottom of the barrel here and see what you might not know about the great Barcelona star. How about mm -hmm. Messi's named after the beautifully mustached Grammy Award winning singer Lionel Richie? Exactly right. Messi hates talking on the phone, saying the best way to reach him is through text. As soon as we score you that number, we'll post it to Oh My Goal immediately. Just remember, texts only. And number one, no surprise by now, the great Pele. A lot uh, of yep, well-known yep, info yep, out yep. on him. He was actually in my poll. I did my research. Uh, yeah, he was definitely in my poll. But I really haven't seen much of him in the highlights, you know. Maybe just because it's older stuff? I, I don't really know, but I should look him up. Him as well. Let's try and scrounge up three nuggets of new info for you, okay? All right, here we go. Right. Number one, Pele's so poor growing up in Brazil, he can't afford a football. So he plays with an old sock stuffed with newspaper. And you thought Gareth Bale and Kyle Walker had soccer sock drama. Not as bad as Pele. Number two, Pele is the first athlete to have a video game named after him, but it's eventually re-released as Championship Soccer once Atari realizes, whoops, they never asked Pele about using his name and likeness. The licensing guy at Atari had one job, right? Number three, Pele's final match features his original Brazilian club Santos playing his current New York Cosmos team. The storybook ending has King Pele playing for both clubs in the same game, switching sides at half. The match is a complete wow. downpour, leading journalists to say, even the sky is crying over the great Pele's retirement. And that's our list. Tell us below what we got right. And of course, everything we got completely wrong. Yes, absolutely. Same thing to you all. What was good about that? What was right? What was wrong? Uh, Pele, yeah, I, I did not. Um, I thought he would have been, you know, since I haven't really seen much of him, I knew he was going to be on this list. I assumed he'd be top five somewhere, uh, probably even top three somewhere. But I thought for some reason, Messi, but, but, but probably because he's playing now, 
Everyone seems to love him. I see tons of highlights of, of him and Ronaldo and the other Ronaldo and kind of, kind of a lot of the other people in the list. So I guess answering my question before, now that I've watched this video is a lot of these like five of them or so, or three of them maybe from Brazil and two from Argentina. Uh, could be one or two off on that, but a lot are from those two countries. So let me know what you think of this list, if, if they're correct, if you don't think they're correct. Um, especially, you know, like the top five I, I want to know, or maybe even the ones that are out of the top five, um, you know, six to 10, if, if they should have definitely been up higher. Because some of the players that I've seen really thought they, they like some of them are not in the top five or even out of the list and there's very entertaining to watch but yeah i don't know you know the skill skill wise um, of the player and how the teams did and and all that stuff so i'd like to hear from you because you guys are the experts where i'm still really trying to obviously learn please let me know enlighten me and uh yeah until next time this was a good one this was a great one and we'll do more in the future thanks for watching uh subscribe if you want to see more reactions and i'll see you next time have a good rest of your day